I'm racking my brain because this seems like a very simple issue to me, and I think you described it that way also, but how did we get here? Like, what is the real crux of this? How did we get to the point where we're having to make this decision and turn it into law? Through the Chair, Representative Willis, thank you for your question. Um, I believe the sexual revolution and its father, Alfred C. Kinsey, are to blame for this largely. Um, many of our so-called modern ideas about sex come from Kinsey's research. And to be frank, he was a depraved monster. He took small children, including toddlers and infants, into rooms with convicted pedophiles and let the pedophiles work on the children. And he used that information as research to say this is normal sexual behavior for all people. Through that, um, society has been badly damaged and the leftists and ACLU who use his research based upon child sex abuse continue to weaken our laws against pornography, rape, and child molestation. So I believe that he and the slipping of our faith in society is largely to blame for what's going on today in our schools.